A library containing 30,000 documents is consumed by fire. Staff looking after the library beg people not to extinguish the flames. This not only saves the documents, but leaves them in better condition than before. How? And one more time, a library containing 30,000 documents is consumed by fire. Staff looking after the building beg people not to extinguish the flames. This not only saves the documents, but leaves them in better condition than before. How? Insurance? <laughs> I know, like, thinking about my time working, like, in museums and, and archives, I'm, part of me is like, I cannot imagine... Like the the library staff not wanting to run into flames and like grab documents unless they were digital. <laughs> like that's it doesn't say if they're physical documents. And fire is notoriously good for computers. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My mind immediately went to the Cotton Library fire where they're like throwing books out the window. Like, why would you not want to save them? Yeah. Yeah, the fact that it was not only okay, it left them in better condition. Right. This is quite something. It's like there's people who fake their own death to claim life insurance. Is there some sort of like weird insurance thing where they can buy better materials because the library is failing or it's underfunded? <laughs> or, I mean, another thing too is like you don't want to extinguish flames uh, like the water damage from a fire actually can be worse than smoke damage for those kind of documents. So like there's probably like, don't black, don't use fire suppression stuff because it will ruin the, the material. But that still doesn't it doesn't make it better. Right. Is it just like a really small fire in a different part of the building and the library is fine. But if you try and extinguish the fire, then you set off the sprinkler system and then you damage the books. No, but then they wouldn't be in better condition. Yeah, that exactly. That would make perfect sense, except for that weird detail, which sounds like the books are made of one of those trees that needs fire in order to get fertilized. It does say documents. Like, it could be does ambiguous. say documents, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, what is something that documents could be made of that can be improved by fire? I don't know. Is it documents in like your library folder on your computer? Or is it documents that um, potentially have information about like controversial origins of the material? And then if the evidence is just gone, it's like, well, we got a clean <laughs> slate now. <laughs> da Danny's a lot closer there. Danny's a lot closer. Oh, dang. <laughs> you're right. You're looking for uh, a material here that the documents would be made of that would be improved by fire and you really wouldn't want to get water on right now while it's burning. Are we back to heat sensitive ink? Ah, are they made of hypercolor? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to sweat on them? <laughs> <laughs> They're heat sensitive so by exposing them to heat you can expose the ink and therefore make them readable and improve the document. But why would you have an invisible ink? Heat, heat sensitive, heat exposed. We have these pens in sewing where you can mark on your fabric and then as soon as you iron them, they disappear. Really? That's so cool. But they are still there. So if you freeze them, they come back. That's even cooler. But why would you have a library out of that? Why would you be freezing? Why would you there, be There have been a couple of costume departments for like films and shows who have used this marking pen to mark out seam lines and things. And, you know, they go away with the iron and then they, the costumes stay overnight in a very cold trailer and all these markings come back. They have to iron them all again to get them all to go away. Oh, do you watch movies and you're like looking for those? I can't watch a movie normally anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were more right with the historical track you were on there. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Were the documents like covered in some kind of mold or something that burned away with the fire? Or was there a bunch of like arsenic? The question very carefully says documents, not papers. Mm. Are they, oh, how, how old are we talking? Are these like stone tablet level old? Ah, now that's a very good question. Oh my God, it's a kiln. They're clay tablets in a kiln. <laughs> They're not deliberately in a kiln, <laughs> but you're right. These are clay tablets from Mesopotamia in the library of Ashurbanipal in 612 BC. So the last <gasps> part of this is why are they telling people don't extinguish the flames? Could getting water on them like melt it all away and disintegrate stuff? 
explode, yes. Oh, oh, okay. If you suddenly cool the tablets down at speed, they are going to explode. Oh. But yes, these are clay tablets from Mesopotamia that were just being baked a second time and were in better condition because they'd been fired again and were even more solid than before. Cool. Wow, I didn't know. That makes me so happy as like a kind of a museum person. Like, ooh. Like the one time a library caught fire and everything was okay. 